hi everyone welcome back to my channel don't forget to click on subscribe in this video we will learn how to enable cross origin request in asp.net web api 2 and how to use it with angular 10 application this tutorial demonstrates course support in asp.net web api and angular 10 application we will start by creating two projects one called web service which hosts a web api controller and other called web client which calls web service two applications are hosted different domains origin so create a new application asp.net project file then click on new project and now create a asp.net web application web service and click on ok Now click on empty and here mark web api the add folders and core reference for don't need to host in the cloud so unmark this and click on ok I have already created an angular application this is the angular application all things are implemented this is app component this is the title of the project and here product service is dependency injection to use product service in app component ok ok right click on models and add and now go to class and create a class here name product create model copy this copy this to product class and save and go to controller and right click and mouse over on add and then click on controller and here web api2 controller empty click on add controller and now name controller products controller then click on add now copy this and paste inside products controller and now 
import product model from here namespace web service dot model now click on the web service and go to tools and here no get package manager and click on package manager console copy and here paste and hit enter it takes some time to install now go to angular application and here inside the source folder we need to create a json file proxy.config.json look like the same you can take help from angular official documentation and then add this proxy config to your angular.json file your angular.json file and add this to serve and then browser target the below proxy config and source under proxy config json and now go to product service and here we need to add the root url of backend server installed successfully so copy this to and click on app start and web api config and paste here and save now go to product controller and now copy this and paste top of the product controller api controller here and save here and change the url of angular project running on and save and here import course web http course okay and now run this server and go to angular application and now here paste this url and save and go to proxy config json file and change this with this URL and save ok after starting the server go to angular application proxy config file and paste this URL 
and save and go to your service product service and here change your API URL link and now start your Angular application and see the result and see the result you need to change two lines from here and product service this and you must add your proxy config to angular json file and here and in web service you need to add your origin here and enable course using system.web.http course and you can add here headers and you can specify methods here and you need to enable course here you must add config.enable course you can thank you so much for watching this video